the massacre of Israeli civilians by Hamas, a Palestinian group, and Israel's subsequent retaliation is the latest bloody eruption of a long-running conflict between Israel and the Palestinians. This conflict has its origins in a letter written more than 100 years ago and just 67 words long. In 1917, Arthur Balfour, the British Foreign Secretary, typed a note that would change the face of the Middle East. The letter was a declaration of support for Zionists who wanted to create a Jewish state in the carve-up of the Ottoman Empire. After the First World War, the League of Nations gave Britain a mandate to rule Palestine. The Arabs, who had been living there for centuries, turned increasingly to resistance and violence, culminating in a revolt in 1936. The British crushed the uprising, but tried to win over the Arabs by restricting Jewish ambitions. After Jewish anger also turned violent, the British gave up. They handed the problem over to the United Nations. In 1947, the UN voted to partition Palestine, but the Arabs rejected this and fighting broke out once again. The last British soldiers left Palestine in May 1948. Within hours, Jewish leaders declared the establishment of the State of Israel. Neighboring Arab countries invaded immediately. In the armistice of 1949, the land was divided between Israel and Arab states, but there was no new state for the Palestinians, just two regions controlled by Egypt and Jordan, now known as Gaza and the West Bank. An estimated 700,000 Palestinians fled or were pushed out of their homes. They called this the Nakba, the catastrophe. Since then, there have been wars, uprisings, terrorist attacks and diplomatic deals. Nothing has brought lasting peace or a state for the Palestinians. Since the war of 1967, many Palestinians have lived in the West Bank under Israeli occupation. Today, they're cut off by the Israeli security barrier. They have autonomy in big cities and towns, but are surrounded by Jewish settlements. Others are locked away in Gaza. This densely populated strip of land has been the scene of repeated battles, a grim pattern that seems destined to continue.